Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get MongoDB Compass set up. And then we're also just gonna talk about using some basic MongoDB commands to create and delete collections. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, now I wanna recap what we did in the last tutorial. So basically in the last tutorial, we set up uh, everything for MongoDB. So we installed it, we installed MongoDB Compass and we started the MongoDB community server. And then we also connected to that server on a separate client. So you see down here, uh, and I'm using a Windows machine, but I also showed you guys how to do it with Macs if you're on Mac. Uh, I have one command prompt here, which is running the MongoDB server. And obviously this doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just kind of a bunch of text on the screen, but this is the MongoDB server that's running. And so we just wanna leave this running, make sure that you don't exit out of it. And then over here, we actually connected to the MongoDB community server over here on a separate client. So this right here, this window, the one that we connected to the MongoDB community server with, this is what we're going to be basically interacting with and typing everything into. So this is gonna be our interface into that MongoDB server. But we also installed MongoDB Compass. So what we can do is just open that up. So I have that over here on my desktop or you can just search for it. And this is a graphical user interface. So this is pretty cool because it will allow you to uh, visualize all of the data that is inside of your database. Now, you can also use this to like insert and update and delete records in the database. I'm not gonna be doing that too much just because I want you guys to get comfortable using the command line. You know, generally MongoDB is going to be used from a programming language. So, you know, Python, Java, uh, whatever, you know, uh, any programming language that you're using with the database. But we can also communicate with MongoDB from the command line. And all of the commands that we use on the command line are very similar to the commands that you'll be using in another programming language. So I'm gonna show you guys everything over here on the command line, and then that should, you know, allow you to easily carry it over into another programming language. So over here, when we open up MongoDB Compass, you'll see that we just get this uh, default screen. So this should have all the default information to connect to that server that we set up. So you can just click connect and uh, for the most part, it should just work. All right, so now that we've connected, basically this is connected to that database server that we set up. And you'll see over here, we just have some like databases. So there's this admin database, config database, and the local database. So you don't actually need any of these. Um, they're just kind of there by default. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of them. And you can just delete them by just like typing in the name of the database. All right, so now that we deleted those, we're actually, our first job will be to actually create a database. And so, like I said, I'm gonna be doing everything from over here in the command prompt. Um, if you want, you can do stuff using the, you know, the graphical user interface, but um, if you wanna follow along with what I'm doing, it's gonna be from the command prompt. So over here, we're just gonna type in use, and then we're gonna type in the database name that we wanna create. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a database called draft, and you can, you know, really name this whatever you want. And once you do that, you'll see it says switch to DB draft. So now we've switched over to this database called draft. Now that we've switched over to that database, what we wanna do is we wanna actually create what's called a collection. And a collection is basically like a database table. So if you know anything about relational databases, um, in a relational database, we store data in tables. And a table is basically just like a collection of uh, related information. That's essentially what a, a collection is, right? It's a collection of information that is similar. Now MongoDB is very flexible, which means you don't have to define these like very rigorous schemas where you don't have to you know define like every single column of you know a table mongodb is very flexible so you can just kind of insert anything into a collection now, there's a couple different ways we can create a collection i'm going to show you guys how to create one right now you could just come over here and type in db dot create collection and inside of parentheses we can just type in the name of the collection that we want to create so in our case why don't we create a collection that's going to store uh, like student information so uh, let's say that we were making a database that would store information about like different students in a school we could create a collection to store students so i could say db.create collection students and I'm gonna make another uh, quotation mark and then we'll end this off with a parentheses. Now, uh, generally collection names should be lowercase. They should be simple and they should be plural. So those aren't you know strictly enforced rules, but I think convention would say that something like students is a good name for a collection because it defines you know what the collection is going to store. It's simple, it's like one word and it's plural. And then I'm gonna click hit enter. 
And so now we actually created a collection called student. So if you come over here and you click this refresh button, uh, and that's just over here in MongoDB uh, Compass, you see there's this refresh button. Uh, the database that we created should pop up. And now that we created a collection inside of that database, uh, it should show up here. So you'll see over here, if I just click down, we have this students collection. And so over here, we're at draft.students. So that's the database name dot the collection name. And there's actually no documents in here yet. So there's two ways that you can create a collection. The first way is just by saying db.createCollection like we did up here. Uh, the other way you can create a collection is just by inserting information into a collection though. So you don't actually have to specifically define a collection. Anytime you insert something in, uh, if the collection doesn't exist that you're trying to insert into, it'll automatically create it. In the next tutorial, we'll talk more about inserting documents. All right, so now that we've created our collection, I also wanna show you guys how you can drop a collection. So if you wanna drop a collection, you can just say DB and then the collection name. So students, and then you can just say dot drop and then an open and close parentheses. And what this is gonna do is it's going to delete the collection. So over here, you see it says true. If I come over here and refresh this, then you'll notice both of those things disappeared. So the collection disappeared and then because there wasn't any collections in the database, the database disappeared as well. So that's basically how we can create collections. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that student collections back. So I'll say db.createCollection students. And now going forward in the course, we're gonna be using this students collection in order to learn how MongoDB works and we'll do a bunch of cool stuff with that. So uh, that sort of, sort of shows you the basics of setting up Mongo Compass and obviously typing in the commands over here on the command prompt. So now we can kind of go forward and learn some more stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.